Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. As you know, this weekend is game week 3 of a Fantasy Premier League. And uh, next weekend, it's the international break for you guys that didn't know. So, um, I would advise that for, for next week, uh, just don't use your... What's it called? Your, your free transfer. <laughs> don't use your free transfer. Uh, wait until maybe after next weekend. Not this coming weekend, the weekend after that one. <laughs> just wait until then because you know uh, injuries might happen and all of that. So um, just be aware of that. Uh, today's episode is actually to talk about a rising star. Uh, or not really a rising star, but really um, a premium player at a cut rate price. Yeah, uh, you probably saw the title. <laughs> I'm talking about Diogo. Diogo Jota, yeah, Diogo Jota, Diego Jota, Diogo Jota, yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> but yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Diogo Jota uh, plays for Liverpool. Um, basically, plays as a striker, but uh, when he is on that um, that front three, that Liverpool front three is very very fluid. Uh, anyone at any time can be in the middle. Uh, Salah, Mane, or Jota. But the main reason I say he is a, a premium player is because his scoring rate is, is one of the, the highest we will see. Uh, by scoring rate, I mean the... Um, how, do, how do I put it? He, the way he scores is in split games, you know what I mean? So he won't score like a hat-trick and then blank for, for like three games. Now nah, he'll score in three games, you know what I mean? Uh, not to say you won't score hat tricks, but um, if you're getting anyone from Liverpool that's not named Salah, you're probably gonna look at Mane. Yeah, and Mane does score this weekend, but uh, Yota will score more often than Mane. Yeah, does that make sense? Uh, Mane might score more goals <laughs> than um, than Yota, but Yota will score more often. Um, and if you look at uh, what he was doing last season um, before the injury, he was averaging a, a goal a goal a game at home and I think away. He was having uh, I think it was an assist every every two games, every three games. So um, yeah, consider that. And I understand Robertson is gonna be back this weekend. Uh, so if you are getting Liverpool players. Um, I would suggest have Yota in there, you know what I mean? Uh, don't stack up on the defense, because that's what most people do. <laughs> uh, they get Robertson, they get uh, Trent, and they get Salah. What I'm saying is, um, get Salah and Yota. You don't even have to get Salah. If you don't have Salah, yeah, and you only have Yota, you're still good to go. Um, he, will, he will get you the goals, guys. And then, outside of Liverpool, another... Uh, Decently priced, so they're the same price actually 7.6. Yeah, the, the price did go up 7.6. Uh, Mason Greenwood, the Manchester United forward, a well midfielder. Um, as you know, Rashford is out injured, so Greenwood looks to be getting a lot of game time, uh, at least until October. You know what I mean? That being said, Cavani looks like he's uh, he's back from his personal. Um, problems that was keeping him away so uh, with Greenwood I would say just be aware of that because uh, like I said Cavani is coming in but Greenwood can play on the wing <laughs> he can play on the wing and uh, we've seen Greenwood and Cavani play multiple times last season and it looked good for both players uh, Martial he's starting off the season very slow I don't know what to say about it so for now you can just stay clear of him um one more one more player to look out for or two to get now yeah um cristiano ronaldo <laughs> is cristiano ronaldo joining fantasy premier league um only started playing fantasy premier league in 2012 or 2013 2013 or 2012 yeah played it I think it was 2012 but anyway <laughs> um i don't know when fpl started so i don't know if ronaldo has been in the fpl before i uh, wouldn't be able to tell you but what i do know is 
it looks like he might be joining the the, the Premier League. <laughs> and there's my clickbait. Yeah, there's, I've, I've been thinking to myself like, yo, I need to think of better titles and all of that stuff to to hook you guys in. <laughs> but um, Cristiano Ronaldo could he be joining? Possibly. Um, as a Man United fan, I wouldn't want him to join City. Like that would be heartbreaking. You know what I mean? Like things that just crack the heart <laughs> would be Ronaldo joining uh, City. But uh, what what would be interesting is will he fall under a winger or a striker? We do know recently has been playing, uh, not even recently, for the, the past couple of years now. He's been playing a lot as a striker. Uh, his price point will probably, probably be around uh, Lukaku. Lukaku is 11.5. Uh, it's also someone you should look out for. Uh, we saw his debut against Arsenal and he was bullying everyone. <laughs> I'm not even going to say the defense. Everyone was getting bullied out there. Uh, but yeah. Ronaldo coming to the to the FPL. Um, I, I don't want to see it because <laughs> I support Manchester United. But obviously if he does come, he will be one to, to look out for. Definitely get him. <laughs> no matter what happens, definitely get him. And um, Harry Kane has sorted out his issues with uh, with uh, Spurs. That's probably why City are now looking at uh, Ronaldo. But yeah, Harry Kane has sorted out these issues with Spurs. My advice is to wait until after the, the international break to get him. You know what I mean? Because he did. Um, what's it? What's it called? He didn't have much training before the like preseason training and all of that. Uh, he only got match fit for last weekend's game. And um, yeah, this weekend, uh, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. But I would say if you if you are looking to get Harry Kane, I would say just wait wait a minute, uh, get him after the international break, uh, and even if he does score this weekend, you know what? After the international break, it won't be too late. Uh, you won't miss out on anything, and if at all you miss out, it'll be like what, ten points? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And um, yeah, Calvert Lewin might be injured. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this one, so. If he's in your team, just be aware of that. If you're trying to, to get him in your team, just be aware of that. Calvert Lewin might be injured. And um, yeah, I think that's that's all for today. Um, also, Brandon Williams, yes. Brandon, I think this is gonna be longer than I planned for it to be. This is the last point, yeah. <laughs> then I'm done. I should actually have a list of things then I can like just tick off as I talk and stuff. But yeah, anyway, Brandon Williams has moved to Norwich. Um, for my draft team, he's definitely getting in there. I, I just hope the ops don't see this. <laughs> I hope the ops they don't see this. Or oh, did the did it pass already? I should actually should have checked before shooting this. But yeah, anyway, um, Brandon Williams, he is. I don't know if you guys remember him from two seasons ago, Brandon Williams, when he broke into the first team. Excuse me, when our show was injured. If you guys remember, Brandon Williams was uh, a bit of a, an assist threat and a goal threat. Go, okay, maybe not goal threat because he only scored one goal for us, but he did get uh, his fair share of uh, assists. So for Norwich here, yeah, who are, are struggling for goals, I think they have the lowest expected goals over these last two games. I think the, the expected goals was like 0.4 or something like that, something ridiculous. Um, over two games <laughs> uh, and to be fair one of them was against uh, Manchester City and the first one was against Liverpool so <laughs> so I think that that's not a, a fair comparison to make but Brandon Williams will be adding a lot of uh, attacking threat down on that left or right side uh, as we know he is right footed but he plays on the left can't play on the right you know what I mean but um, yeah man anyway thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe. Comment down below who uh, who's your star player. Who's your what's the what's the word? Who's your? I forgot the word. Oh, I forgot it. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> just comment down. Oh yes, tell me. Are you gonna get Bruno and Salah? Are you keeping both of them in your team? Are you swapping one of them out because, like we saw last weekend. 
none of them scored <laughs> or assisted so it was just a blank and a blank and I, I captain Salah and I got six points from my captain so you guys just let me down below are you getting both Bruno and Salah or are you getting none of them and if you're not if you're not getting either of them just let me know down below who will who will you be getting and um, yeah man thanks for watching um, and catch me next time thank you for your time <laughs>